The recent mission of the Starliner spacecraft, which was supposed to be a simple test, turned into a much longer and more complicated situation for both NASA and the astronauts on board. Initially, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams embarked on an eight-day trip to the International Space Station in early June, but the mission quickly unraveled due to several technical issues with the spacecraft, leading to their extended stay of more than three months in space. One of the first significant problems arose before launch, when a helium leak was detected in Starliner's propulsion system. Boeing and NASA judged the leak stable enough to proceed with the mission, but that was only the beginning of the spacecraft's challenges. After docking with the International Space Station, Starliner experienced additional problems, particularly with its thrusters, which are critical for navigation and docking maneuvers. This glitch wasn't entirely unexpected, as similar thruster issues had cropped up during an uncrewed test flight in 2022. As the Boeing Starliner mission progressed, both NASA and Boeing faced the tough reality that returning the astronauts aboard the spacecraft would pose too much risk. Starliner was eventually sent back to Earth, empty, leaving Wilmore and Williams aboard the International Space Station, relying on a SpaceX Crew Dragon vehicle for their eventual return, now planned for 2025. What's funny about all this is that, from the moment Boeing's Starliner spacecraft encountered technical issues on its June 2024 mission, the option to use SpaceX's Crew Dragon as a backup was on the table. NASA had always considered the possibility of bringing astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams home aboard a SpaceX vehicle. However, Boeing was initially resistant to this alternative, fearing it would further tarnish its reputation, already damaged by multiple delays and failures within the commercial crew program. Boeing had long been viewed as a cornerstone of American space exploration, from its involvement with NASA's Apollo missions to its role in the Space Shuttle program, Boeing has been a trusted partner for decades. However, in recent years, its dominance in the space sector has been challenged by newer companies, most notably SpaceX. The two companies have a clear rivalry, with Boeing representing the established aerospace industry and SpaceX being the ambitious newcomer. SpaceX, founded by Musk in 2002, quickly revolutionized the space industry with its cost-effective and reusable rocket designs. In 2020, SpaceX became the first private company to launch astronauts into space as part of NASA's commercial crew program, putting it ahead of Boeing, which had been contracted to develop its Starliner capsule around the same time. SpaceX has since successfully flown multiple crewed missions to the International Space Station, while Boeing has struggled to match its competitor's success. Given this backdrop, Boeing's hesitation to hand over the task of returning its astronauts to SpaceX was understandable. This decision was tough for Boeing because it meant admitting that their own spacecraft Starliner wasn't reliable enough. However, as technical issues with Starliner mounted, including helium leaks and thruster malfunctions, it became clear that Boeing had no choice. They had no choice but to use SpaceX's Crew Dragon to bring the astronauts home. Throughout the delays and technical issues with Boeing's Starliner mission, many people wondered how astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams felt about being stranded on the International Space Station. They were originally set to stay for just eight days, but now face being on the station until 2025. When they finally made a statement, rather than expressing anger over the ongoing delays, their reaction was more understanding. While many expected frustration, it's understandable that they avoided negative comments since they are, after all, working for Boeing and NASA. Wilmore mentioned that being anxious over the situation wouldn't help, while Williams expressed disappointment about missing family events, but remained professional. Their softened reactions highlight their commitment to the mission, even though they are stuck much longer than anticipated. Given that both astronauts are longtime NASA employees and representatives of Boeing's mission, it's unlikely they would openly criticize the company responsible for their extended stay. While the astronauts have maintained a calm demeanor about their extended time on the International Space Station, it's clear that their extended stay will likely have a significant impact on their physical and mental health. Originally scheduled for an eight-day mission, 
Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams are now expected to remain in space for at least 240 days, possibly even longer if delays continue. This is far beyond the typical six-month duration for international space station missions and raises concerns about the effects on their bodies. Spending so much time in microgravity can lead to a number of health issues. Studies on astronauts who have spent extended periods in space show that long-term exposure to microgravity can cause muscle atrophy, loss of bone density, and changes in vision. The body's cardiovascular system also adapts to the weightlessness, which could weaken the heart since it doesn't have to work as hard to pump blood. Additionally, astronauts face an increased risk of radiation exposure, which could elevate their chances of developing cancer later in life. There are also mental health challenges to consider. Isolation, disrupted sleep cycles, and missing out on important life events, as Williams mentioned, can take a toll on astronauts' mental well-being. Although NASA provides psychological support to astronauts, the prolonged uncertainty surrounding their return could add extra stress. While Boeing struggles with ongoing issues related to its Starliner program, SpaceX has recently made history by conducting the first-ever private spacewalk during its Polaris Dawn mission. Launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida aboard a Falcon 9 rocket, the mission is a landmark in the commercial space industry, pushing boundaries that were once exclusive to government-led programs like NASA. During this mission, the crew, consisting of four civilians, is led by billionaire Jared Isaacman. The other crew members include SpaceX employees and retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Scott Poteet. One of the key objectives of this mission was to conduct a spacewalk, also known as an extravehicular activity, which took place on September 12th, marking the first time non-government astronauts exited a spacecraft in orbit. The Polaris Dawn mission is more than just a milestone in space tourism. It is designed to test cutting-edge technologies that SpaceX plans to use on future deep space missions, including those to the Moon and Mars. A major focus of the mission was to evaluate a new, lightweight, flexible spacesuit developed by SpaceX specifically for EVAs. These suits, which Isaac Mann described as fabric suits of armor, could one day be used in missions on distant planets. The crew also flew higher than any mission since the Apollo era, reaching an altitude of 870 miles, far beyond the typical orbits of most crewed missions. This altitude allowed them to pass through the Van Allen radiation belts, offering researchers the opportunity to study how this environment affects human health. During their time in orbit, the Polaris Dawn astronauts conducted 36 different science experiments, including research on the effects of microgravity on eye health, wearable biometric devices, and motion sickness. The mission concluded after five days in space, with the Crew Dragon spacecraft successfully returning to Earth. This accomplishment not only marks a leap forward for SpaceX. That's all for today's update. Don't forget to check the link for your limited edition Falcon 9 model. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.